this is what we call the Triple Crown um, in three very essential places. In China, in Beijing is where I was born. Europe, one of my favorite places to go to on concert tours. And then of course my hometown now, New York. Well, this is about, uh, I think, fifth or sixth time I'm playing Carnegie Hall. This time is very special for me because it's the first time I'm courageous enough to, or just um, stupid enough, <laughs> to pull off a old German uh, repertoire. I'm gonna play Brahms, Schumann, and Beethoven. The fun is in, in the distance, it's in the struggling, it's in, in the darkness of it. Since I do German music in New York, I have to play some American piece in Salzburg, right? <laughs> it's my first time in the Salzburg Festival. I heard so much about it, the intensity of the concentration um, of knowledge, of understanding is, is very high. So yeah, it's a very uh, colorful program with Ravel and Gershwin Rhapsody in Blue. In the second movement of the Ravel, it's just um, so beautiful. I just have this long solo before the woodwinds comes in. That part is just melts. And then in the end, English horn is playing my solo in the beginning, and then I just do this filigree and those colors. That's probably my favorite part of that concerto. It's a very nice um, summer festival repertoire, so I'm actually doing it in like Tanglewood in Hollywood Bowl in America, and then I'm gonna bring it in Salzburg to play with the conductor that I recorded with, Leonel Brangia. We actually know each other um, since teenager years. We worked a lot together so much that last year, you know, we, we traveled to Israel, to Australia, in LA. All the concertos I know, I played it with him. Well, in Beijing, you know, my old teacher is still there and they, they're almost 90 and they, they come with their walking. <laughs> Canes and and of course my parents are there so there's lots of people like I feel the pride I feel <laughs> I feel the yeah I feel the pride and and the love um, and support it's uh it's really amazing and they it's just co totally unconditional you know the first time I went back to Beijing we got this new hall after Olympic uh, NCPA a gorgeous hall near Forbidden City and um, actually this year I'm the residence artist of the hall this concert will be the beginning of the residence I'm. A big fan of this amazing percussionist, Martin Grubinger. We're arranging everything because this setup is very uh, unusual for um, just one piano and three percussionists. We're playing the Rite of Spring, which is one of my favorite Stravinsky. It has the, the colors of the full orchestral version. I mean, for me, piano is like imitation of orchestra. We can be freer. Freer as in you don't have to wait for the brass to breathe. <laughs> A beat is a little shorter. <laughs> and the other big thing is a Bartok two piano and percussion, or arranging into one piano, um, one piano and three percussion. Well, Ravel only had two concertos, so I, I realized I like to do concerto in set version. So I'm doing all three Bartok, um, and that's going to be what I'm doing this season, and ends up in a recording with Hungarian National, one of my idol. Um, coachish. I, I love Medici because I think when, well, the first time I play in Verbier, they were there already recording everything that's, you know, the flight of Bumblebee, all these videos was there. I just remember there is all the curtain in the back, except there's one lens just staring at me. It is a very motivational. <laughs> way of um, of approaching concert. Like I definitely practice more if there's a camera. <laughs> So I just want to say my heartfelt thanks to Rolex, who has been a supporter since when I was 21. They're part of this triple crown um, in Europe, in China, and America. So thank you. <laughs>